Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Today I'd like to talk about an idea I've been kicking around inside my head for about a year. Bitcoin as a solar battery. All right, let's get this out of the way. This idea is totally nuts. I'm not recommending that anyone actually do this. I just think it's an interesting thought exercise and I wanna share it with you. Please don't take it too seriously. Just sit back, grab a drink, and geek out with me for a minute. First, some quick background so we're on the same page. There are many different types of solar installations in the world. However, to make things simple for this video, we'll limit the discussion to three main types, utility grade, grid tie, and off grid. In utility grade solar, huge solar power plants are constructed that can power hundreds of thousands of homes. They're super big and they're super expensive. Individuals like you and me usually can't afford them. So they're only built by companies and governments. Next up, grid tie. Grid tie systems are the cheapest. They consist of solar modules. These are what we as lay people usually refer to as panels. And an inverter that converts the DC solar module voltage to household AC voltage. That AC voltage is then fed back onto the grid, helping to power your building and your neighbor's buildings. Depending on the way your power company handles grid tie, and the amount of power your solar system generates versus how much power your building consumes, your electric meter may run backward. The power company essentially pays you for the power you generate. It's a very efficient, inexpensive system, and most residential solar systems are the grid tie type for this reason. The final type of solar power system is off-grid. These systems are similar to grid tie systems in scale, meaning they typically generate only enough power for one household, rather than hundreds of thousands of households as with utility grade solar. However, instead of feeding power back onto the grid, off-grid systems feed power into huge batteries. These batteries are very similar to the ones in your car, only orders of magnitude larger. These systems are quite a bit more expensive than grid tie systems because batteries are expensive. In addition, these systems have higher maintenance costs because batteries tend to wear out every three to five years, requiring replacement of the entire battery bank. However, if you don't have access to the grid or like me, if your power company doesn't offer grid tie service, then an off-grid system is your only option if you want to get into solar. Now, this is the interesting part. What if there was a fourth type of solar system that, like grid tie, allowed you to get paid for the power you generate, but didn't require huge expensive batteries like off-grid systems? What if there was a solar system that converted sunlight directly into money? Enter Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin? This is a huge topic. I'm not going to explain Bitcoin in detail here because other people have already made excellent videos that do just that. Personally, I recommend getting started Bitcoin mining using ASIC mining hardware from the Barnacles Nerdgasm channel. It's one of the most detailed guides I've watched so far. I've got a link down in the description below. All you need to know for the purpose of this discussion is that Bitcoin is a digital currency, kind of like PayPal, and you can do something called Bitcoin mining for cash. Basically, the way this works is you buy a black box computer called a Bitcoin miner and you plug it into a dedicated household AC socket like the one behind me. You give it access to the internet. Over time, the Bitcoin miner box turns electricity into Bitcoins, which you can then exchange for cash online. I'm not kidding. This is totally a thing. Here's the disclaimer. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Most people who own and operate Bitcoin miners do it for fun not for profit. Electricity costs money, and so do the Bitcoin miner machines. Also, the miner machines have a limited useful lifespan. If you buy a laptop today, it'll be obsolete in a year. In other words, more powerful laptops are always being released. So whatever you buy today is guaranteed to be obsolete at some point in the near future. It's the same with Bitcoin miner machines. They periodically release new machines that are more powerful and more efficient than the last generation of machines. As this happens, it becomes harder and harder for your old machine to turn electricity into Bitcoins. So you see diminishing returns. But consider this, most residential solar modules have a 25 year lifespan. Also, the cost of solar modules has been going down over time. So if solar costs 80 cents per kilowatt hours today, you can expect it to cost less than 80 cents per kilowatt hour in a year or two. That's the trend. Also, if you click the link in the description below and buy a Bitcoin miner today, You'll also have to buy a power supply. The whole purpose of the power supply is to take 110 volt household AC electricity and convert it to 12 volt DC electricity. 
These Bitcoin miners are DC devices, just like solar panels. Now, power supplies are never 100% efficient. There are losses incurred as a result of the conversion process, so you burn some of that electricity as heat. That wasted electricity never gets converted into Bitcoin. It's just gone, but you still have to pay for it from the power company because you consumed it. What if you could take the DC electricity directly from your solar panel and feed it into a small, inexpensive battery, say, just enough to power and run one Bitcoin miner for an hour or half an hour. Then use that DC electricity to run the Bitcoin miner directly, rather than incurring the losses associated with the AC to DC power supply. At this point, you've done three things. First, you've made the Bitcoin miner more efficient at converting electricity into Bitcoins because you've removed the power supply. Second, you've created an off-grid solar system with a much smaller battery. It might even be possible to run a Bitcoin miner directly off of solar panels using an MPPT charge controller, eliminating the battery entirely. Third, you've given your Bitcoin miner a cheap source of electricity for 25 years. The cost of the electricity is the cost of your solar panel. Now, there are some problems with this model. First, I currently pay the same as Barnacles for electricity, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. In order for solar Bitcoin mining to make sense, we have to get the final price for the solar installation, not including the Bitcoin miners, down to 10 cents per kilowatt hour. I'm pretty sure that's not possible with today's solar cost per kilowatt hour. But remember, the cost per solar kilowatt hour is coming down as time goes on. So even if solar isn't cheaper today, it's almost guaranteed to be cheaper at some point in the future. Second, while we've reduced the cost and size of a typical grid tie solar system's battery by immediately converting solar electricity into Bitcoin rather than storing it for later use, we haven't really eliminated the recurring battery replacement cost associated with off-grid solar. Instead, we've swapped that cost for the cost of replacing our Bitcoin miner hardware periodically. I haven't done the math here, so I don't know if this would be more expensive in the long run or less expensive. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Third, while this Bitcoin solar idea doesn't require the expensive infrastructure associated with utility grade solar or even grid tie solar, you still need a connection to the internet so your mining hardware can function. I have no idea how much bandwidth Bitcoin mining requires or how much latency plays into the miner's ability to generate Bitcoin. I expect latency is important, and as always, a better connection means better results. This may be a limiting factor if you were considering placing your solar Bitcoin miner on some remote plot of cheap off-grid land. No internet, no payday. Fourth, while using your solar electricity for Bitcoin mining can make you Bitcoin, and therefore cash, it won't light your house or run your microwave. So it kind of makes me think that you'd want to build this system in some remote area and just let it run. That could be a problem if the system breaks down. You'd have to incur travel costs. Anyway, that's it. I just thought it was kind of a cool idea, turning electricity directly into Bitcoin, and therefore money, instead of just using it on the site. If you found this video useful, or you learned something, please consider hitting the like button down below in the lower right. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.